So vaginal infection is one of the leading causes of infertility, discomfort, and it makes sex very uncomfortable. So today, as you can see by the title of the video, we are talking about reoccurring vaginal infections after treatment. You have things like itching, burning, discharge, and then painful sex. So welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Blessing Sule, aka The Fertile Mom. So, the first thing that causes recurring vaginal infection is stress and junk foods. Once you are stressed, all your hormones in the body, instead of working for you, they work against you. Not really that your hormones want to work against you, but they are working for you, but it seems it's working against you. And then when you are taking things like enough Coke, Sprite, everything soda, junk food, some people, you can never catch them eating cooked food. They are eating either shawarma, they are eating indomie, they are eating spaghetti, they are eating macaroni, they are eating cake, biscuit, like, in short, even the rats in my former house can eat food better than these people. And once you eat like this, your body becomes more acidic than alkaline. So your body has to have a balance. Once it is more acidic, you are prone to infections, you are prone to sickness, you are prone to wounds, you are prone to a lot of negative things in your system. So the infection that you treated last month can reoccur. It will come back and you keep wondering, why is this infection coming back? I treated it. I treated it with injection. I went to a different lab, I went to a different hospital, I went to a different pharmacy, but it's still coming. Even the doctor is wondering what is the cause because it's not in your house. He didn't know that, okay, after treating it, you went back to junk, you have not been sleeping. Instead of you to sleep, you sleep only two hours a day in a whole 24 hours if you are doing that please stop work on your stress level eat good organic food minimize taking soda and junk foods and then number two is using the wrong medication once you are using the wrong medication you still have your current infection that's why I always encourage my clients go to the lab take a test let them know if you're a woman do high vagina swab do urine let us know the real infection because there are some infections that are only in your urine there are some infections that are in your vagina so you have to test the two you have to test do a vagina swap let them know which infection is in your vagina then do a urine test let them know which infection is in your urine sometimes you might only have one sometimes you have three infections going on and then if you are a man they can do uh, a swap as well you can do a sperm analysis where they will use the sperm to do culture and then you give the urine sometimes if you are not doing sperm analysis they will just open the tip of your penis and then put the swap inside it's a bit uncomfortable and then you give the urine so that they can see what is affecting you which type of infection because when you don't take your recommended that prescription for each infection has different prescription the dosage and how long you should take it when I was young once I start feeling better there's no way I'm going to take my medication it is very very wrong it is very very wrong you have to take your medication and complete and the right medication that's so two people can have the same infection but they might not take the same drug because there are some people that their body will not accept a particular drug or antibiotics there are some people that eat will cure it so you don't have to say okay because my friend has staff and she took this so i'll have to take it no her staff might be more or more scanty than yours and then her body might be resistant to a particular drug so she will take another one you might be sensitive to another one so you take another one so you can't go and say okay because my friend has staff and she took this and i have to take it as well not all infections are caused by bacteria there are some that are fungal uh, infection so if you have a bacterial infection and then you're going to take antifungal antibiotics it will go but come back it's just like you have malaria fever and then you take panadol it will subside because it's a painkiller but then it will not cure you because you're just trying to subside the symptoms and then the headache and the feverish uh, symptoms will come back I keep getting sick every time so you have to know the right infection and take the right medication Number three, some people don't complete their medication, they don't complete the dosage. Some people, you are supposed to take it for seven days, they take it for three days. Some people are supposed to take injection, they go and take medication. I don't like injection, injections are painful, and then the bacterial infection or the fungal infection or the infection is still there. And then another point is having more than one sex partner. 
some people I don't know whether they're doing experiments I don't know whether they're in a competition which who sleep with more people but when you have more than one sex partner you will always have a recurring infection because even if you treat it another sex partner will give you because as the person is not your only sex partner that's how you are not their only sex partner so they are getting it from somewhere some people are using places that are not good to ease themselves some people are involving in type of oral sex and hand things that are not good so they will come back and give you now our next point is treating the infection alone when you have a sex partner you have a spouse a husband a boyfriend a girlfriend and then you are always treating the infection alone i always ask my clients are you treating this infection with your wife or your husband sometimes it's okay they, they tested and the person did not have any infection sometimes even when the person don't have the doctors can always prescribe the ones that will protect them from having an infection 90 percent of the time when you test the next partner has sometimes both of them have different infections like i'll have clients come over me and they're like ah by time mom it's like my wife or my husband is cheating on me i'm like why they'll say because he has e coli and i have staff or he has infection and i don't have infection no that's not it that's not it at all in some people cheat but most of the times it's not because a partner is cheating that's why they have infection and you don't have body types are different maybe sometimes when you go for a follicular tracking and the one has been put inside your vagina for more often you come home and then you have irritations and because all these infections are in our body like candida is in our body staph is in our body but when it overgrow when it becomes overgrown that's when it becomes a problem so when they start doing your body becomes irritated and these things all these things start rising and then they will, they will test they say you have infection maybe somebody have taken so many antibiotics and then his body or her body is not answering to any antibodies so any small thing that comes into the system becomes an infection the infection must not be because of sexual intercourse with another person and then we have using vagina product to wash your vagina a lot of products are out there that if you wash this one your vagina will be tight if you use this one your vagina will smell good if you use this one like a lot of different things please it is not good to use those things you can simply wash your vulva on the outside where there is hair where there is supposed to be hair with a soap a mouth soap and then inside with only water and then our last but not the least point stop inserting your hands in your vagina once you insert your hands in your vagina you alter the vagina flora you scatter the ph it's not balanced again so you keep both the good and the bad bacteria in your vagina so any small thing that comes there even if it's your husband's penis it will give you an infection because this thing has been outside and then it will bring things and bring inside your vagina and you start feeling irritation you start having discharges and are not supposed to be there so please if you have an infection try and treat it with the right medication try and treat it with the right medication dosage and the number of days you're supposed to take it let it be the right one complete your dosage please thank you so much i'll see you again in my next video bye and treat with your spouse too <laughs> treat with your spouse <laughs>